We will see Paul's manufacturing activity continues to remain resilient despite fears of a possible wave from the Omicron variant. It's grown for the 18th straight month in December, even as other economies recover across Asia. The Purchasing Managers Index was up a notch, just 0.1 point to 50.7 in December, driven by faster growth in new orders, new exports and factory output. A reading of over 50 indicates an expansion. One analyst says this is in line with the pickup in manufacturing activities in other Asian countries. He says that more people are getting inoculated against COVID-19. Supply chains too appear largely intact. And while input prices have also been expanding, the rate of expansion has declined in 0.3 points to 51.4 in December. Now, this suggests that even though producers could pass down higher production costs to consumers, prices could stabilize soon. It's important to note that the higher input prices that we've seen is largely due to the higher commodity prices that we've seen in 2021. As for 2022, what we do see really is that oil prices have actually rallied quite a bit. You know, and that could mean that if oil prices stay stable, at least for the year ahead, that would mean that input prices will also stay stable. The PMI for the electronic sector also posted 17 months of expansion. It grew 0.2 points from the previous month to 51 in December. A global trade is expected to be buoyant in the year ahead. So barring any major setback, Mr Gunn expects Singapore's manufacturing to grow 4% this year.